So this is a EFI throttle body. Uh, from a Mazda B6 uh, and BP DOEC 16 valve engine. Uh, this is the screw for the air adjustment uh, that controls the idle of the engine. Uh, this is the only screw that you should adjust. This one only. This one never adjust the throttle stop. Do not tamper with this one. If in case this is tampered, uh, it's a little challenge to return to its factory calibration and I don't guarantee that the idle will be fixed the the tune of the engine will be back to its uh, original state if, in case this is tampered never tamper this throttle stop I can determine if this throttle stop is already tampered um, this is the throttle position sensor Do not adjust this, only tuners should adjust this. And this is the idle valve that is uh, installed at the bottom of the throttle body. And this is another adjustment screw that you should not tamper with. Uh, you should not uh, adjust that. Uh, it is factory calibrated also and it's hard to um, return it back to its uh, factory calibration. This hole is for the thermo wax valve, do not tamper that also. And this hole is for the idle valve. You will see here that the idle valve mechanism is uh, very dirty inside. And cleaning that with ordinary procedures, I'm sure you cannot clean it perfectly. You cannot clean that perfectly because uh, the hole, the access port for the idle valve is very small. Trying to clean it will just dissolve the dirt a little and still it will settle at the inside of that port. So we will show you here that even if you try to clean this port, the idle valve through this port, uh, is that you can't clean it efficiently. So that's the problem when you try to dissolve the dirt inside. It will just dissolve a little but a major part of the dirt will still remain inside. Uh, and I'm sure the dirt inside is very stubborn. The dirt inside cannot be uh, removed so easily. It's like a paint already that uh, that is painted inside of that uh, port. You can have the idea because uh, look at the floor. It's not getting dirty. Uh, it means the dirt is not dissolving. It's not being removed from the inside of the port. We will try to use the idle valve controller to imitate the function of the idle valve while it is being cleaned. So we're attaching wires from the idle valve controller. So using the idle valve controller you can clean the, the inside better because the idle valve, the valve itself unseats from the valve seat. So, more dirt has been removed. As you can see the floor. But still not a perfect cleaning. So now we will remove this black part of the idle valve to fully clean the inside of this uh, idle valve port. This is the idle valve of Christian. You see scratch here and a scratch here and the dented part of the idle valve port here. And there's a paint here. So we'll now open this and show you that even after cleaning the ports using a car cleaner and even after we use the idle valve controller while cleaning, 
it will show you that the inside is still very dirty. Okay, we'll open it. So we've removed this back part of the idle bulb and um, we have a special puller for removing this. As you can see, there's no damage to the black part thing of this uh, idle bulb because of our special puller. No damage whatsoever. Perfect. Removal. And here's part of the actuator. As you can see, after cleaning it a while ago, it's still dirty. It only shows that any kind of cleaning then our special process of cleaning this type of idle bulb is uh, very inefficient. And look at the inside. It's already corroded. And here's the counter spring. You can see the inside of the idle bulb. Uh, I don't know if it's clear uh, in the camera there. Then, then I'll do. Uh, there are many white spots inside, and you can see that it's very dirty. It's still very dirty, even after cleaning it a while ago. With the normal cleaning process of just spraying. Uh, a car cleaner or throttle body cleaner and uh, there's also a damage to the bulb seat on this type of idle bulbs the bulb seat is made of rubber usually if the inside is corroded and whenever there's a corrosion from the inside of the idle bulb uh, usually the rubber seat will detach from its addition to the aluminum to the aluminum part of the idle bulb Aka na yung matulis. Tutuhong natin. There, as you can see, it's very corroded. Remember that corrosion in aluminum is a is of whitish color, not a reddish color just like this. This one is reddish because of uh, just a contamination from the engine block to this one. Because uh, these two ports are uh, coolant ports coming from the engine it circulates the coolant to these two ports there's no reddish or orange corrosion in aluminum this is just a contamination I don't know if you can see it but the rubber part is already broken and under the rubber part where this rubber thing sits uh, clearly has corrosion it means that this rubber already lost its uh, addition to the aluminum surface since there is corrosion underneath it. So this idle valve cannot be used anymore. As you can see here, now with the light, you can, uh, you can now better see the inside uh, of this idle valve. It's very dirty, as you can see. It's still black colored even after cleaning it a while ago with the car cleaner. Uh, and you can see here that the rubber is already broken um, the addition is already lost uh, due to corrosion I don't know if you can see it from the camera you can see the other part of the rubber still adhered to the aluminum housing the rubber is already broken you see that part and there's clear sign of corrosion underneath it and here's the evidence that even after cleaning with standard process it's still dirty black but uh, we can't use this anymore we need a replacement idle bulb since the seat is already broken due to corrosion you can see this is still the uh, idle bulb of that Mazda Familia you can see the red color see still the original idle bulb 
we'll just show you how we clean the inside of this idle valve and how much dirt can we remove uh, under our special process you can see that uh, this idle valve is not the original uh, idle valve anymore you can see the dirt you can't brush the inside of that idle valve with the black pin with the black part of the idle valve still in there pwede rin ano eh, yung mabili niyang surplus yung hindi na okay pero dapat ang kasama talaga dyan di ba BEC? okay kaya nga hindi ito original tingin ko this is not the original throttle body anymore of that BP engine this is a sign this paint is a sign that this throttle body was bought separately from the engine it's like a warranty paint warranty mark it's like a light blue color pati ngayon sa ilalim meron din itong paint eh. Ayan. as you can see there's paint also at the idle valve itself aside from the throttle body and also this paint there's also that same paint color so I'm sure this was bought uh, from a surplus shop okay and change it with a new throttle body new surplus throttle body so we'll change it to uh, this one but still we're gonna open it to make sure that it's very clean like brand new I mean the inside of the idle bulb we will clean it like a, in a brand new condition this idle valve is trash already we can't reuse this anymore or even repair it we can't repair this anymore that black rubber is uh, broken it's impossible to repair I can try to repair it but there's no guarantee so it may be a waste of time so this is the second idle valve since the first one cannot be used anymore we will clean this as you can see it's dirty I want to show you how dirty the inside is and we, I will show you after how clean it is any cleaner like the carburetor cleaner or throttle body cleaner uh, that you spray inside will not dissolve the dirt so easily it requires uh, brushing uh, the inside of this uh, idle valve together with the use of the car cleaner so simply just spraying at the inside of this port and this port will not dissolve the gum uh, the dirt without removing this part uh, this black thing of the idle valve So now you can see here after cleaning it well, it's very clean like a new one, no carbon deposits, no dirt, it's like back to brand new condition. You can't clean the inside of the idle valve just like this, if you just spray your cleaner over this port and this port. And you can see here that the rubber is intact. Also, there's no corrosion, unlike the first one. <laughs>